This tuck stitch pattern was produced using Knitmaster's punch card number three out of the basic set. Now today I'm going to show you how to create a variation of this tuck stitch pattern but using the same punch card as before. So I've cast on and knit a few rows and then ended with the carriage at the left. So now I'm just going to put this punch card in the machine. And lock it on row one. Now it's not necessary to clamp the card together because we don't want it to advance, we just want it to be locked where it is. So next, once we've got our punch card locked on row one, we just knit one row from left to right. And all that does is just gets the pattern memorised in the memory drums on the carriage. Now I'm going to set the side levers back. And then set the cam lever to tuck, which is there. Now I'm just going to knit three rows. Then, just before I knit the fourth row back, I'm going to set the cam lever to stocking at or the centre zero, and then knit one row. Now that's what you have. You have a tuck. So we continue doing that for the next twelve rows, setting the cam lever to tuck, knitting three rows and then setting the cam lever to stocking out and knitting one row. So I'll continue doing that for another 12 rows. So it goes on tuck, knit three rows. Back to stocking it and knit one row. Back to tuck, knit three rows. moment I've got a knot in my arm there we go sorry about that yeah so I've knitted three rows now I'll set back to tuck again one row now we're ready to finish the last sequence of the tuck stitch. So I'll just knit three rows, setting the cam lever to tuck. And now we just do something a little different. Set the cam lever back to zero, or stocking it as before, but this time we need to release the punch card and set the punch card to five and then lock it again. And then we can finish knitting our fourth row back which will be the sixteenth row. That just ensures that this next row will be in the memory drums. You can tell when you've done your sixteen rows because if you look at the tucks you'll have four of them going up in a line. One, two, three and four. So now we have set the punch card to five and locked it and just continue doing the three rows on tuck and then one row on stocking at for another 15 rows Now just keep your eye out. If, you, if you're not counting, just keep a check on how many you've done here. 
So this is the last sequence of top. Oops. I wasn't concentrating then and I didn't set the lever back to top so I'll just rip that row out quickly. Slip that and bring it across. Right, sorry about that. Yeah, set your lever back to top. Obviously you'll be paying more attention than I am because I'm trying to video it at the same time. But anyway, the last three rows of this tuck sequence. And again, once we're on the 15th row, ready to knit the 16th row, set the cam lever back to stocking it, and then release the card again, and wind it back down to one. So it's 16 rows with it set to one, and then another 16 rows set to five. So it's a 16 row repeat, or a 32 row repeat rather. So once we've set that back to one again, ready to start the next section, we just set the cam lever back to zero and knit the 16th row. Then again, set back to tuck, knit three rows. Back to stocking out, knit one row, tuck, three rows. I'm on the last sequence now of tucks because I've got three so this will be the last one so I'll just knit three rows and again set back to stocking it and just before you knit this 16th row back set back to five so just doing that all the way along so knit 16 rows with it on set to row one on the punch card oh sorry rather knit 15 rows and then just before you knit the 16th row back set to five knit that one row and then knit another 15 rows and then set back to one and then knit your 16th row back and just continue alternating from row one and row five on the punch card every 16 rows but make sure it's locked so this is the pattern it produces as you can see and it's very different to this pattern that the punch card produces automatically so uh, you can try this with your different punch cards basic one the basic punch cards will work better than the more advanced ones so i hope you get to try this and it is a little bit more work than just the normal tuck stitch, but it really is effective. So, thank you.